Hello friends, welcome to knowledgeola.com. So today I'm going to continue uh, my video on this IBM Quorum proof of concept exercise. So I'm going to navigate uh, this particular post here, which I already uploaded and it is in detailed description. So once you are going through this post or you can say blog, then you will get a lot of uh, information how you can complete this exercise so it includes detailed technical information so i'm just going through this exercise so we will release this entire tutorial in multiple parts please find the release information as given below advanced payment configuration on person home page advanced payment detailed design explanation and architecture entity development for advanced payment with all required build targets facade and service layer development for advanced payment with all required build targets user interface development for advanced payment with all required build targets launch the server and navigate the advanced payment functionality so whenever we are going to start uh, developing any any functionality in quorum what would I suggest to start from the backend code first? So start writing the backend code. Think about uh, entity first. Design the entity. So what will be the entity? How many columns will be required? Basically, you can say attributes. So how many attributes you are going to persist or you are going to create as a part of that entity? And what will be the relationship with that entity? So these things are very important. So whenever you are going to start an exercise or in, you are going to develop any functionality in Quorum and it is having some sort of screens, then you start from the backend, basically from the DAO layer, data access object layer. So once you are defined, you are done with your data access object layer, then you can jump to a service layer. And think about all possible operations which can be utilized uh, to develop this particular functionality and also uh, once your service layer is completed then you can go through uh, the facade layer and develop your facade layer because facade layer is going to be a like a very minimum methods like service layer may be having more methods in compared to facades Supports first because facades layer is directly exposed to the client. So we are not going to write a lot of business logic in a facade layer. In facade layer, basically, we are going to uh, write some sort of uh, method and ultimately we are going to call to the service layer. And it is a very good practice to keep all your business logic in a service layer. So this is my advice. Don't put private methods or any other business logic in your facade layer because facade layer is exposed to the client. Now, once your facade layer is completed, then go for UIM and develop your UIM part in user interface pages. Okay, so this is the strategy which I always follow. To develop any any functionality in quorum i hope this will be a good approach for everyone please add your uh, suggestions in the comment so maybe i can learn a new way of development uh, i hope this will be a good information so now i'm moving to the next uh, page what this page is saying so this page is talking about navigation configuration so this piece is basically saying whenever you are developed with your actually this piece i would suggest to do in a last of your development because uh, this is this can be done once your uim is ready and your uim is associated with tab and then that tab navigation basically nav and nav can associated with the tab or if you if you want you can directly navigate or you can already you can associate this particular uim with the uh, ssp in uh, shortcut pages okay so that is also there are a lot of ways you can associate or you configure your uim page 
with the with the object okay so this is uh, this page particularly talking about how you are going to configure your uims like create advanced payment display advanced payment edit advanced payment delete advanced payment so those those kind of pages how you are going to configure so this page particular if you go through this page it is explaining how you are going to configure the pages now i am moving because it is a self explanatory if you go through line by line then you will understand what exactly i am trying to say and this is also a good practice if you follow the reference within a quorum then you will get a lot of good understanding in this page listen to if you see entity development this lesson contain information related to entity development as it is a back end, backbone of any development in ibm quorum so this page basically if you see there is a uh, entity is related information if you see i have mentioned attribute name data type stereotype domain definition so this is also a very important part in the quorum we are navigating through the uh, domain definition in place of direct uh, uh, database name or uh, database type like big integer or something okay so this is all about uh, theory if you go through the theory you will understand all these things and then yeah these are the operation standard operations which entity is going to have now i'm moving to next page if you see here in this page in this page i am talking about uh, the entity i am talking about the facade and service layer this lesson contains information related to facade and service layer development ibm quorum uses rsa to generate most of the artifacts and only business logic required to write by the developer so this is a very interesting things and very important things in quorum you are not supposed to write each and every layer uh, of the code basically security related steps those are already taken care by the infrastructure the only thing you, what you have to concentrate as a developer you have to write a business logic and the business logic obviously it should be strong and more secure so that's the only one thing which developer is supposed to do okay so in this way if you see i have created a service layer uh, folder and then mm, i create a facade layer folder and then if you see this is talking about uh, how you developed uh, the key custom service layer and these are the operations uh, which i am going to use in a service layer and these are the studio type and this is the description over there so if you go through this one you will understand what exactly you are going to do okay the same way i believe they are creating a facade package and inside facade package uh they are going to write all the operations what exactly they want now by moving to next so this is again the same thing facade layer method information create and implement class service layer facade layer under the source not built with default method implementation the developer can complete the business logic and test it using the junit framework if you are not uh, willing to develop ui yet you can write a junit test cases and you can uh, test your functionality using the junit test cases now user interface development okay so now here you have to develop a user interface so if you see that information is not available here because i don't have a ibm system running in my computer so that's the problem with uh, with uh, me i don't have any system right now so the uim basically what i would say once your back end code is ready up and running then you can start writing the uim and uh, you can take a reference from the existing uim in quorum this is the best uh, thing in quorum most of the scenarios whatever you are going to build it is already available here and there if you start if you are really interested to learn the ibm you you, you should go through uh, its existing code like uh, people used to say it is a otv code out of the box code so you start navigating out of the box code then you will get a lot of knowledge from there so basically for uim development you can go through the existing one and see what kind of uh, page they want and uh, what kind of uh, page you can develop 
you will get a lot of reference i hope you will be able to complete this exercise please let me know through the comment box if you are facing any difficulty hope you understand and like this exercise please like subscribe and share this exercise with your friends and family member thanks a lot